guys, Matt here. This is my review of 300, Rise of an Empire. This movie is directed by Noel Muro, who previously directed Smart People. This movie stars Sullivan Stapleton, Eva Green, and Lena Headey. When the trailer of this movie first came out, I was like, okay, this is just like 300. And then the title showed up, and I was like, that's neat, because I heard they were trying to do a prequel to the first movie for the longest time. But I guess it didn't work, so they made this movie. And even though I was skeptical because it's been seven, eight years since the first film, this one was pretty good. It had just as much sex, slow motion, but a lot more violence. Now, 300 Rise of an Empire is a prequel, a side story, and a sequel to 300, all rolled into one. It's a prequel because it deals with flashbacks and events leading up to the first movie, shows what goes on during the first movie, just a different perspective, but it's a sequel because it shows you what happens after the Battle of Leonidas. Now, this movie focuses more on the naval battles rather than the Battle of Thermopylae itself. As far as the acting goes, all the main characters worked. The main character of Themistocles was played by Sullivan Stapleton. And he wasn't as charismatic and loud as Gerard Butler's Leonidas, but it's okay because he's a different person. He was more intelligent, I guess you could say, and more methodical. This would be dealt with the naval battles rather than the ground fighting, so he wasn't as tough and ready to die as Leonidas. I just liked how they brought back some familiar faces, including Xerxes and Queen Gorgo, played by Lena Headey. And I also liked the villain in this movie. It wasn't a guy, it was a girl, and you don't see that very often. It was played by Eva Green. She played Artemisia. She played the naval commander for Xerxes. And she worked. She was evil, but also badass. That's why I can describe this movie is by comparing it to a show that was on HBO Network called Spartacus. Now, after the first season came out, the actor died, so they made a prequel series leading up to the events of the first season, and then they recast and made sequels. That's what this movie felt like. It felt like, even though they had the familiar staples and faces and events from the first movie in this new one, you feel like something's missing. I felt like this and 300 could have been combined and made just one long movie. Because it felt like this was the extended version of the first film. This was all the stuff that was left out that they kind of put together and tried to mash up and make a movie out of. Which parts worked, other parts I felt didn't. Some of the minor characters in this film are forgettable. Some of the lines of dialogue are a little much. But it doesn't mean this movie doesn't have its share of really cool moments including the last couple minutes with the drums and the action, it really made the movie for me. So, because this movie had the spirit of the first movie, but I feel was trying to be just like its predecessor, and it just wasn't, I'm going to give 300 Rise of an Empire a B. If you like the slow-mo historical violence, then I would check this movie out. Until next time, guys, see ya.